Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the video series on topical past paper questions of O level physics 5054. In this video, we will discuss past paper questions from paper 1 of 2019 and 2020 related to the topic of lenses. So first question is from May-June 2020, Paper 1, Variant 1, Question number 28. Which diagram shows the action of a converging lens on a parallel beam of light? It's a very easy question. Please pause the video and choose the best option. Okay, so a converging lens is a lens which converges the light rays means the distance between the light rays must be continuously decreasing and then it meets at some point. So if you see in option A it is diverging, option B there is no action neither converging nor diverging, option C it is some strange behavior and option D the light rays are converging and meeting at this point. So option D is the right answer. Okay, next question is question number 33 from May June 2020, paper 1, variant 2. A converging glass lens is used to produce a virtual magnified image. Which ray diagram shows the rays passing through the converging lens? Virtual and magnified image okay through converging lens these are the keywords and using these keys keywords you have to find the answer pause the video and select the answer okay so we are talking about converging lens a and c are not converging lens these are diverging lens then we have to see virtual and magnified image. In case of B, here will be the image. It is magnified image, but it is not virtual image. Whereas in case of D, these two rays will be traced back and we'll get a virtual image here. So option D is the right answer. Okay, the question number 29 from October, November 2020, paper one, variant one. A parallel beam of flight is incident on a thin converging lens. F is the focal point of the lens, which ray diagram shows the light after it has passed through the lens. Please pause the video, think about it and choose the right option. And then resume the video to see whether you are right or wrong. Okay, when parallel rays are incident on a convex lens, on a converging lens, they are converged to a point at focal plane. If you see option A, they are not converging at any point A cannot be the answer. Option B, the rays are being converged at a point but this point is not on the focal plane. So B also cannot be the answer. Now option C, the rays after converging meet at a point at focal plane. Okay, so this is the right option. Let's see D as well. In D, in option D, the rays are meeting at focal point. Now, the, when the parallel rays are not parallel to the principal axis, they do not meet at the focal point. They meet at a point which is at focal plane, but that point is not the focal point. So option D is also not the right answer. Another problem in option D is that this ray, when it passes from the optical center, 
it becomes parallel to the principal axis it should go straight like this so our answer is option C okay next question is from May June 2019 paper 1 variant 1 question number 25 a parallel beam of flight is incident on a thin diverging lens. The focal length of the lens is FL. This distance as shown in the diagram. Which ray diagram shows the beam after it has passed through the lens? Let's see options one by one. It is a diverging lens but in option A the rays are being converged. A cannot be the answer. In option B, okay, option B, in option B, the rays are diverging, but these rays are parallel rays. And these parallel rays are not parallel to the principal axis. So they will be diverged from a point which will be at focal plane, but it will not be focal point. It will not be the principal focus. Here they are meeting at this point which is not on the focal plane another problem with option B is that this ray which is passing from the principal focus is not going straight it should be like this option B is also not the right answer okay let's see option C option C seems the right option because if we trace back these two rays are meeting at a point which is on focal plane let's eliminate option D as well here you can see that the two rays are being met at focal plane but the problem is that this ray which is passing from the principal focus is being deviated and it is and it becomes straight parallel to the principal axis it should go like that like this straight so D also has some problem and C is the right answer okay next question is from May June 2019 paper 1 variant 2 question number 27 an object is placed at a distance from a converging lens that is equal to twice the focal length of the lens. Which statement about the image is correct? So object is placed at 2f and it is a converging lens. So pause the video and try to answer this question. Okay, so option A is that it is enlarged. No, when the object is placed at 2f, the image is not enlarged. It is of the same size. So option A cannot be the answer. Option B, it is inverted. Yes, it is a real image and it is inverted. So option B is the right answer. But let's eliminate option C and D as well. It is on the same side of the lens as the object. No, it is not on the same side. It is on the other side. Option D is it is virtual. No, it is a real object. So option B is the right answer. Next question is also from the same paper, May, June 2019, paper one, variant two, question number 28. The lens in the diagram produces an image I of the object O you can see here the object and here is the virtual image why is this not the ray diagram for a photographic enlarger please pause the video and try to answer this question okay the option a is that the image is magnified now this is not the reason that the image is magnified option b the image is virtual yes for the photographic enlarger the image must be real but here the image is virtual 
Let's eliminate option C and D as well. The lens is a converging lens. This is also not the right thing. And option D, the lens is too thin. It has nothing to do with that. Okay, question number 26. An object is placed in front of a converging lens of focal length 4 cm. The height of the image is 6 cm. The arrangement is shown on the scale diagram. What is linear magnification produced by the lens? Linear magnification is the size of image or the height of image to the height of object. The, here the height of image is given as uh, 6 cm but there is no information about the height of the object but this is a scale diagram and it is given on a graph paper so what we will do is that we will measure the small boxes of the image one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we will measure height of the object. We will measure the small boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it is 7 and a half. So it is 2. Option C.